I love doing development. It's my passion. I love to build stuff. I love to drive down the road years later and say, I built that son. I built that daughter. I said, the house is there because I built it. Like, it's awesome for me. That's really ego gratifying for me, right? So I love that. It's my passion. However, apartments, I'm going to tell you, are not that cool. <laughs> Uh, like it doesn't, for me, like it doesn't just drive my path. I love apartments until I saw this. We call a $30 rent raise, we call that a nuisance raise in the industry, 30 bucks. Which basically means um, people aren't going to move for a couple hundred dollars a year more because it basically costs more than that to move, right? So for 30 bucks a month, you raise the rents 30 bucks a month. It's just a nuisance for them. They're not going to just, ah, oh, they raise their rent on me, I'm out of here, right? I can expect it. Now, it's relative in different markets, but in general, the industry says 30 bucks is a, is a nuisance raise. So if I have a 23 unit, would somebody please take 23, multiply that by 30, and multiply that again by 12, and that's going to be how much revenue I've increased on my property that year. What is it? 82,000 or 8,200? 82. Cool. But if I have 144 units, I multiply the same way. 30 times 12. 51, huh? 51,840. So it doesn't cost me any more in expenses whatsoever, except for some paper to mail out all the tenants who have their rents, their leases coming due. This is the economies of scale. When I saw this, I stopped doing these deals. Holy cow, $50,000 a year in increases. And if I just do that every year, we're gonna show you on the spreadsheet in a few minutes how, the, uh, how this increase in revenue kicks the value of your property up in like just ridiculously. It's